day everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick as we listen to this quite jolly music on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're playing Jack the Nipper. It's published by Gremlin Graphics in 1986 and it's a, well, exploration a game of sorts. It's also come out in the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. You take the character of this uh, baby called, well, Jack the Nipper as I thought you already probably knew and you must cause as much carnage as possible by picking up objects, being very, very naughty and annoy all the goody goodies. So let's see how we get on here. Now, you see the naughty o meter down the bottom, that will go up the more things we, um, trouble we cause. And we can pick up various items. It's a bit monochrome as you can see, but uh, already, if I can get to that ledge on the left, uh, there's a hammer, I think, we can drop that. Now, each time you come into contact with all these nasties going around, I believe Jack's bedroom, you will die. Um, Back in the day, I think I would have not completed this game and just wandered around picking up odd bits and dropping them in various places. A bit like where I wandered around aimlessly in games like Everyone's A Wally and so forth. And Jet Set Willy to an extent. So it's a lot moving on screen at the same time. It looks rather cool. You see my objects in my pocket on the bottom right. Uh, one and two. I picked up the hammer. If I hit one again, it will drop that. Uh, my lives are represented by those babies in the bottom left. They're not dancing or anything, but yes. Uh, the jump noise is a little bit annoying. I don't know who the, all these people are in, in uh, Jack's house, but it's a take, if you didn't already know, on Jack the Ripper, who was a not a friendly fellow. Anyway, but this is Jack the Nipper, a baby. By pressing enter, I think we can go through the doors, any contact with any of the other characters, and then um, our, uh, our rasher meter goes up, and that goes to the top, we lose a life. Right. Uh, this is a bedroom, I can't see any items here. Now if you completed this game back in the day let me know, because it's literally my first or second go. The idea of these reviews is just to see what your first or second go would have been back in the day. Would there have been enough there if you want to go and play it again? It's interesting enough, it's a, a, a classic, did have a sequel called Jack the Nipper 2, but you really need to know what's going on, um, which I don't at this point. But we're exploring, and this is rather cool, yes, excellent. Yeah, I, I'm quite liking this one, despite not knowing what what the hell is going on. There's just micro the shop, uh, burp beans it says, and jumbo nuts. Well, whoops, we went somewhere there. G Gummo's chomping molars. So you can go into any of these uh, places, but yeah, basically pick up items, drop items in the right places to cause uh, as much chaos as possible, to be as naughty as possible, and then when you uh, lose all your lives, it will give you, uh, I think, a, a naughty rating uh, there. You completed the game, let me know. It's rather unique in its own right. Now, see, I've lost one life, and it represents, uh, well, a uh, Jack with a smacked bottom by the looks of things, or he's firing darts out of his bottom, one of the two. Oh, what are these computer things? Oh, that's not very good. I'm losing lives here, so try and look what objects you can pick up. Now, it might be handy if you're going to play this to get a walkthrough so you know what to pick up and what to drop. Otherwise, it is just hit and miss guesswork um, all the way. If you did have this game back in the day, you're probably screaming at the screen at the moment, stuff I'm missing and so forth. But there we go. If you like the channel and you like this kind of, um, well, I I'd say it's like nonsense chat and dodgy gameplay. If you like this sort of thing, you haven't already, please consider subscribing because that helps the channel immensely as we try and review everything ever. And the more support I've got, the better the videos can get and the more the videos can get. But having said that though, I do put up, well at time recording at least, a hell of a lot of stuff. It's probably nearing about 2,000 reviews. So if you want a bit of a binge, if you've got the day off work or you're sick or something like that or you're just crazy, then you can have a look through all of those. The ZX Spectrum playlist, Amiga, uh, Mega Drive, there's lots of stuff there. Have fun you. Right, don't go mad though. If you do go mad, it's not my fault. Um, if you were uh, a naughty baby, then comment below. Um, but anyway. So I don't know. I don't know where Jack's parents are here. Um, Hummo socks. I think I've got a pair of those. Maybe they need to be washed. So I don't know where Jack's parents are. They're terrible parents. Jack the Nipper needs to be taken into care. Unless it's some crazy evil midget. If you are a crazy evil midget, then comment below. Oh, there's a flower there. So, so, oh, so that, that, oh, that kills you. That kills you getting on that flower. I think there's um, I think there's some poison on the shelves. Maybe we can pick up if we can get up there. Right, can we get up there? I don't know. I don't know what the other people are doing in this shop. They're just walking around aimlessly like nincompoops. Nincompoopin'. Right. Right, can I pick up that? Uh, oh, I can pick up something. There we go. So we've picked up, I think, some bottles of poison. 
and a baby could be pretty evil with uh, a bottle of poison, I'd imagine. I don't know what we do with that. We, you can drop items and, um, yeah. Now, if I don't do very well, I've already got four smack bottoms. If you've got four smack bottoms, then comment about it. But um, um, I've got a poke I can use for infinite energy. Let's put the poison there. Is anyone going to drink that and die? No, that would be very, very naughty indeed. So no one, no one, um, no one seems that surprised in this game that there's a baby running around, uh, dropping poison about the place. They need to report that to the police station. Right. Okay. Now this is the sort of game which Andy Cap should have been. Um, we reviewed Andy Cap was a little bit dull because he couldn't go up and down. He explored the um, the streets, but it was just left and right scrolling. This one's got a little bit of depth to it. Uh, as a kid, again, it's one of those ones where I wouldn't know quite what was going on, but I would have loved just walking around and stuff. And that that was like a lot of Spectrum games back in the day, where you just wander around and let your brain take care of the rest. There's a washing machine there. Don't get in that if you're a baby. They keep advertising Plonk. What's I Bloom? Hmm, don't know. Uh, they're, they're interesting load of guys walking around. One looks a bit like Dr. Frink, I think, from The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Look at the animation of this guy. His hat's jumping up and down for reasons we do not know. Maybe he's got a hamster trapped under there. There he is again. Hmm. You can hear the footsteps. I hope you can. Rain dogs, jumbo nuts, and plonk. And there's there's another advert for Gleam, whatever that is. What's Gleam? Yeah, we're going around in circles now. Let's go up here. Oops. Oh, now we're in the park. This is interesting. Keep off the grass, that sign says. And there's some killer um, plants there. Right, now we're getting somewhere. So if you know a way of causing maximum damage, see my naughty meter? It's got the merest of uh, magenta bars on it, so we're not being very naughty at all. Come on, baby. Oh, there's another baby there. There's a couple of other babies. What's going on here? Uh, oh, because we're near the play school, the play school shop. We can go in and get all your play school stuff. Well, that was a show back in the day as a kid play school. Um, Characters Humpty, Big Ted, and Little Ted, and that's all I can remember. That was that was a UK show play score. I'm sure there's equivalents in other um, countries, right? Now, is there anything I can pick up in here? Um, yes. Yeah, this game was big back in the day, but I didn't I didn't own it. Uh, that poison's not doing very well. Maybe I should have dumped the poison in the play school. Still four smack bottoms. You see, my ration meter is almost in the red. Uh, that's it. We're doomed. See, naughtiness rating 1%, which translates roughly as, uh, Nick, you're rubbish. And I'm goody-goody, see? You want to be as naughty as possible. Um, not quite as naughty as Jack the, Jack the Ripper, but Jack the Nipper. Um, what other ones could you have? Jack the Kipper, which is a really angry fish. Jack the Slipper, which spends the whole time in the shoe shop being tried on by people. That'd be a terrible uh, game. Uh, uh, let's not say stripper. Uh, Jack the, um, the Big Dipper. That would be like, he works on a roller coaster. Right, anyway, that's all those done. Um, yeah, right. Right, here we go. So we should have infinite strength now, so we're immune to smacked bottoms, which is always a very good day, unless you're into that sort of thing, where you're not going to get a smacked bottom. Hooray! Right, this is his bedroom. Again, parents nowhere to be seen. Where are they? They're off at work doing stuff. Or are they? Maybe Jack the Nipper lives alone. He might be one of those rich babies, like Richie Rich. Right, dibby dibby dib, dibby dibby dib, dibby dibby dib. Right, right, come on, come on, baby. I don't. This 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 Jack probably grew up to be uh, not a very nice uh, person. Uh, he he looks like he could be like like that Nicky Boom character and that Amiga platformer who looks a bit weird. Uh, he goes off the rails. Here he goes. Baby, do 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 do. Uh, that's the China shop, spelt with an E on the end. Why is that? Is that an old way of spelling stuff? Hmm. So this was in 1986. Gremlin Graphics. Um, amazingly, when I look at this, they went and done the uh, the Lotus series, which I actually loved on the Commodore Amiga, uh, a racing game of great repute. All right. There's a dog walking around there. Hmm. Maybe they need a. I don't know. Um, I think there's some versions of the music in-game, uh, perhaps, but they need to, like, oh, look, Street Hustle. I've, I've, right, look, I can be naughty now. I've picked up some soap bubbles, I think, and I can suddenly fire stuff to be extra naughty. Right, hang on a minute. Oops. 
Oh, I don't, think, I don't think the poke's working, you know. I thought I had a poke, it's not working. Anyway, I'm dying. I'm dying tonight. Oh, what? No, the poke's not working, and now this woman's stuck on me. Oh, no. Yeah, watch it if you go into this place. Oh, I'm losing all my lives quickly. Oh, I'm, it's smacked bottom city. Oh, no. Oh, well, I was being naughty for a little bit, but I've been stuck in a death spiral loop sort of thing. But my naughtiness is up to a 4%, so I'm gradually, as a baby, I'm gradually getting more naughty. Right, goody goody. Right, let's have another go at that poke. Let's have another go. Bob, 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 bob. Right, oh, up an atom. Up an atom, right, here we go. Oh, it's still going up. I'll forget that then. Let's just let's do, do a quick bit of exploring. Let's go a different direction if we can do. See what else is in this, this terrible city for Jack to exploit. Get round that fellow. Oh, dear me. Right. The China shop, we know about that. They sell all things from China. Um, I, might have, I might have made that up. Right. Come on, lad. Come on. Oh, Jack the Nippers Decathlon. That would have been an interesting game as well. I keep keep thinking about that game Jack the Kipper. Um, someone, someone, someone. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying the word someone, am I? No, someone do that game. Some homebrew there. Do Jack the Kipper. I don't know. I don't know what would happen in that game, but it'd be pretty awesome anyway. Maybe you've got to be a, a naughtiest fish as you possibly can. A bit like Jaws, chomping people at the, on the beaches, but uh, you are a kipper. Right. Anyway, a kipper isn't a real fish. I think it's a smoked herring. Right, there's the museum. What's in there? Well, not very nice exhibits. Um, there's just one room. Uh, it looks like it's in someone's front living room. And, um, you know, uh, the nerve of some people to charge people to go in there. Jumbo nuts. I think we've seen the majority of the uh, the game here. I haven't really sold too much. But pick up items, which I haven't really done. Uh, drop them on people's heads and jump on things and be as naughty as possible to get a naughty score zip your naughty meter up to the top before it's game over so hope to like having a look at that one i didn't mind it good exploration game although i didn't quite know what was going on but you'd gradually get it that was jack the nipper on the zx spectrum published by gremlin graphics in 1986 got any comments about this game similar games or anything retro then please put that below i love reading your comments until next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye